when you receive the Linomat 5, the first thing that you'll need to do is to install the turret. And here we have the turret. It's quite simple to install. The first step is we're going to need to move the stage out of the way. And next, we're going to need to loosen the screw on the bottom of the turret. No need to remove it, just loosen it. Maybe three or four turns should be good. Mount the turret onto the platform. You may have to loosen the screw a little bit more on the bottom to get that to go on. And once it's on, you can tighten the screw back. Just hand tight, no need to use any tools. Next, we'll need to mount the turret with the accompanying two screws, one on either side of the Linomat turret, one here and one here. And the screws will just simply screw in place on either side. The Linomat will come with a, the appropriate Allen key to put these on. Once those are tight, now we're going to mount the connection onto the back of the instrument. And we'll tighten that in place. The turret can be moved by pressing in this button or trigger here and you see when you press that in you can slide it back and forth. There's also a ruler on the back to show you the position and there's a mark here, a, a piece of metal that will mark the place on the ruler. So we can press in the button and move it to the appropriate position and I'm going to move it here to 10 millimeters. That's going to be the distance from the bottom of the plate. Here we have the syringe that comes with the instrument. We have two sizes. We have the 100 microliter and 500 microliter size. This is a 100 microliter. Move the piece out of the way. There's a spring-loaded cover. You can move that out of the way and slide the syringe down into the holder. It should guide right in place. Here you'll see some resistance or feel some resistance. When you do that, you can push it down all the way completely. The needle tip will stick out of the bottom of the spray nozzle here. And what I like to do is to make sure that the stage does not contact the tip of the needle. So you can look down there very closely and you'll see the tip of the needle and move the stage back and forth and make sure it doesn't hit it. Next, we can connect the RS-232 or serial cable. This is going to be if you're going to use the Linomat with a PC and we'll connect one end of the cable to the back of the instrument and the other end of this cable will connect to the serial port on your PC. We're not going to do that here but that would connect to your PC for communication with the software. If you're going to use it in standalone mode you do not need that. Next we will get the power cord and we will plug that in the switch and power connection is here on the side. And we can plug in the power. Now, finally, we'll connect the gas connection. You can use air or nitrogen. If you're going to use air, make sure it's very clean and dry air. We prefer nitrogen, however. You'll notice there's a blue tube here, and then there's a small fitting that goes over that tube and we will connect that to the back. There's a nipple, a gas nipple on the back that we'll connect it to and then screw the nut down over it to tighten it in place. Then we'll turn the gas on. The pressure needs to be anywhere from at least above 58 PSI. I usually set it to around 70 PSI. Now we'll turn on the instrument and when we do the instrument will initialize. So the stage drive initializes first and then the syringe drive will initialize. And once that's done, you'll see the front says system ready, meaning the Linomat is ready to go.